If you've been waiting for the new Samsung Galaxy S22 device, then the team at Appalachian Wireless has some good news for you. Appalachian Wireless is launching all Samsung S22 models on sale. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Pike County plans to begin construction on the Wolf Pit Industrial and Technology Park, a $5.1 million endeavor of which the Pike County Fiscal Corps has obtained nearly $3.2 million. When, when this administration came in office, the Pike County Fiscal Court didn't have any industrial sites ready for development. Uh, the site up at Scott Fork, the county doesn't have a lot of property left, and there's no industrial water and sewer available at that site. When US 460 was built, when I was in the State Senate, we were able to get that fu the funding for that project, get it started. When it was designed, there were four sites that were controlled fill sites, meaning that when the property was reclaimed and uh, waste material was put in, that it was compacted and placed in in a way that would allow for industrial development after the road was built. Uh, the first piece of property that, that my administration obtained the deed from the state for was the Wolf Pit site. Uh, we have since named that the Wolf Pit Industrial and Technology Park. The controlled fill site, which will be suited for heavy industry, will be located on 30 acres of flat land owned by the county. Construction on the infrastructure should begin by May 27th. We know that um, without an industrial site, you can't bring new business in. Once the site's done, we've got to work really hard to market the site. We've got to work hard to market Pike County. You know, we're competing against jobs for not just, not just against other counties in eastern Kentucky. I mean, we're competing for jobs with the rest of the country. But I know that we have people with great work ethic. We have people that don't want to have to leave to find jobs. And we know that unless we have an industrial site ready to go, you're never going to bring new business in. Now, does it mean that we're going to be successful? Obviously not. But what I can tell the people of Pike County is if we don't have an industrial site up and ready to go, we have no chance to bring new industry into, into the county tax base. Judge Jones looks ahead to other sites and projects that he hopes will allow Pike County to compete with other job markets. We've got a lot of things on the drawing board. We've got a lot of things that we're making a reality, the industrial side. We've got other industrial parks that are going to be coming later on, like John Moore Branch. Uh, we've got some, some, some really good opportunities to market Pike County to the rest of the country. And we have to do that in order to compete in the 21st century uh, that we live in. I mean, we're competing, again, against the rest of the country for jobs, not just against Floyd County or Martin County or Knott County, but we're, we're competing in a global economy. Uh, the fact that we were able to, to secure $2.5 million in, in federal aid with the assistance of Congressman Rogers, Governor Bashir, I think that tells people when they see that, that our friends in Washington, our, our elected leaders in Washington and Frankfurt, they're willing to help Pike County because they know it's going to be money well spent, that they know these projects have merit, and they know that they're important to the future of the county. Judge Jones is hopeful for future projects, which includes an ATV trail that will run the length of Pike County into Virginia. For Mountaintop News, I'm Kelsey Dean.